LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mission and lift off of Transporter Four. Pitching down range. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. We're at T plus 40 seconds, awesome views from Falcon 9, punching through the clouds. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and we're currently- Power Max Q. There's Max Q, everything is looking good with stage one trajectory. In just about a minute, we will have three events coming up in pretty quick succession. There's Miko, which is main engine cutoff, stage separation, which is when the first and second stages separate an SES-1 where that single MVAC engine on the second stage will ignite. Karen. Start of MVAC engine chill. You heard the call out for the start of that MVAC engine chill prior getting ready for that second engine start of. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> There you heard and saw those three events happen back to back. Since we should have fairing, fairing separation confirmed. There's that confirmation of fairing separation. You can see the two fairing halves have separated from the vehicle, exposing the 40 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. Now we're currently in our first of three MVAC burns. Now this first burn should last until about T plus 10 minutes. The Transporter 4 mission again is SpaceX's fourth dedicated small sat rideshare program mission and the 12th mission of 2022. SpaceX is targeting at least three dedicated rideshare flights to sun synchronous orbit per year. And we also offer opportunities to ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple weeks or so. Small sats can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not too distant future. Second stage is looking good on the right there in the middle of its first burn, the first of three burns. Seco one. There's second engine cutoff one, and the next milestones will be the first stage booster's entry burn. So Falcon 9 executes an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Without this entry burn, relying on just the atmosphere to slow down Falcon 9 would put unnecessary strain on the rocket's structure. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. You can see on those live views from the first stage on your left that Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. Those white puffs of gas that you may occasionally see from this first stage are from the, from the attitude control system. Stage one entry burn startup. It's the start of the stage one entry burn.
stage one entry burn shut down. Stage okay. one transonic. The first stage has just one more burn left. Turbo guidance. That's the landing burn. It will be starting here in just a few seconds. And at the same time, the second engine, uh, the MVAC, will actually shut off at the same time as the start of that landing burn. Stage one landing burn. You heard that we did start our stage one landing burn. This is about a 20 second burn of the stage single, one. single Don't engine. Orbit insertion. As you can see, we did have a successful landing of our first stage as well as a confirmation of a nominal second stage orbit in the middle there. Now, now coming up in about five minutes, we are expecting the start of the deployment sequence. The first three payload deployments are going to happen during a blackout period where we will lose live camera views and telemetry. For now, we're going to take a short break during this blackout period, and we'll leave you with the animation of where we are during this time. If we are able to regain coverage for the relight of our second stage engine, we will come back with live views and confirm on screen. But if not, we'll see you back here in about 40 minutes. You said 26, separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And MVAC shut down. Nominal orbit insertion. And expected loss of signal, keep. Hawk 4C, separation confirmed. MP42, separation confirmed. Link, separation confirmed. Welcome back to Transporter 4. If you've been following, following along so far, we had a nominal mission so far. And, and we that engine shut down. And we just had that quick last third burn, which was only about one second long. We are waiting for confirmation of that good orbit from SCS-3 and SECO-3. Nominal orbit insertion. 
There's the confirmation of a good orbit there. And much like our first three deployments, our next nine deployments are also going to happen during a blackout period, which means we lose camera views and telemetry. But to see the full list of deployments, head over to SpaceX.com. SCV-005, Almighty Alexius, separation confirmed. And with that, that concludes our deployment sequence. We were able to confirm all 20 deployments today. Falcon 9 really wasn't fooling around. Thank you to all of our viewers for your continued support and have a great rest of your day.